Let's go to Andrew. He's a Man United fan. Andrew. Hello, guys. Um, I just don't know how anyone can blame Ten Hag currently at the minute, and we can't possibly do anything with the state of the referee. Him. Ten Hag hasn't got, up until the last two games, any of the back four that started the run that where they were doing well last year. I know it's okay you're saying, well, you can't dissect the Premier League, you can't dissect the Champions League, but the refereeing decisions over the past few games have been an absolute disgrace. I, I feel like it's impossible for them to do well. United are, are, are six points behind Arsenal and Liverpool are doing really, really well. That's only a couple of good results. What decisions have gone your way? So they should have had a penalty against Tottenham. And Jamie will know, goals change games. It doesn't matter any level. A goal yeah, change game yeah, is a mayor yeah, handball. Yeah, all right. But, yeah, the goal. What other game? What other decisions? The, Arsenal one, the well, referees have also proven that they can draw the VAR lines wrong. So we don't know about Garnacho. No, I well, no, you've got to take that. Gonna, Come on, honestly. No, you're going to think I'm clutching the straw. No, you but, are, Andrew. You were just moaning. You, you can't blame... The, you can't I just can blame... I just the, say, can I, got, can I just say me three points, then? So, Hoyland had more contact than the Manchester City game. If Johnny Evans throws his arms up against the tackle from Gabriel from the deflection from Declan Rice, they go away from the Emirates with a point. So, they might get a point from Spurs or even beat them going in at half-time at 1-0. They might get a point from, from Arsenal... Bayern Munich, they had a dodgy handball. They got Brighton where the ball went out and they give the same thing for Newcastle this weekend and they don't have the technology to prove that it went in or out. And one's gone one way and one's got the other. That is not right for the integrity of the game. And people are going on about Ten Hag. He is two or three dis- results away from being second or third. They, they totally things outside of his control. You look at tonight, you look at the Copenhagen game, which you, you have just mentioned about, um, oh, they could have had a draw. There was never a penalty. There was no there was no contact in the box in that last game. But there was a penalty. The Bayern Munich, there was a handball. Mm. Galatasaray, another penalty. It's four penalties in four Champions League games. Mm. So as much as we could say, what's Tanag doing? The referee and standard is a disgrace. Tonight's two decisions are a disgrace. No one wants to watch that football. Then the, 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 those two are not handballs. Neither of them are handballs. Mm. But the red is certainly not a red. And that is a comfortable game from him going second in the group and he's only a few decisions away from going very, very high up in the Premier League. And the agenda against Man United is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And every single time you ask someone, oh, name me a decision, you name one, and they always go, mm, yeah, yeah, to, yeah to, to be fair, yeah, you, yeah, you're right on that one. It, 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 it's, it's absolutely impossible. If you look at the amount of contact, you, you yeah. know, the derby, yes, yeah. they were terrible. Yeah. But yeah. it was never a penalty. Yeah. No one can say that that was a red tonight. And I know what you're saying, but anyone who's played the game knows that he's trying to shield the ball or turn. Jamie knows that. But Jamie also knows that the difference between the referee giving a few decisions and United getting a draw at the Emirates or getting a draw at Spurs yeah. is the difference between winning the next game and momentum. The referee are killing Man United. And they're absolutely killing them. No one can convince me otherwise. The United can't do well under this agenda. It's as simple as that. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.